This is Dr. Carmen Smith, spiritual teacher, author of the book, The I Am Solution. And I'd also like to talk to you about um, today is the healer's journey. And um, in the healer's journey, we're learning how to love fully. When we love fully, and, and that doesn't mean loving people that love you back. It doesn't mean loving people that... Uh, are in your family, in your closest circle. It doesn't even mean loving people that you have something in common with. That's easy. It's when we learn to love fully those who we disagree with, can we come up higher in our vibration. So love doesn't have to do with having things in common. It doesn't have to do with having a common goal that you're striving for. Those, that type of love doesn't take any effort. And so when you are loving someone that has totally opposite views that you do, that has behavior that you just deplore, but you know in your heart of hearts you know from the bottom of your being that that person has life, that that person has light in them, meaning that God is in everything. If you believe God is in everything and love is all there is, then there is a knowing inside of you that says that that other person, even though they disagree with me, I don't need to be right, but I do need to know that that person is a part of me. That inside that person is the spirit, namaste. I honor the spirit that is in you, that is also within me. So as you begin to have these lessons or these, uh, this uh, image of a person that you disagree with coming across your movie screen, in other ways they walk into your life, you always have a choice. You always have the choice to look at them as different and then there's a whole psychological thing that goes on. And if your environment and your society has already labeled them as different, inferior, they're a Democrat, they're a Republican, they're a Raiders fan, they're not, they're white, they're black, they're female, whatever it is. If society has already put the propaganda of differences inferior, superior on there, and you buy into it, in other words, you begin to think that way also, it's going to come out in your actions. So whether it's blackface, whether it's not hiring someone, uh, whether it's uh, forcing your will on them sexually, whatever it is, it's going to come out in your actions because your thoughts will follow your actions if you're not awake and healed. So this is what's happening in the world right now. People are waking up to these actions, these thoughts that have been covertly or they've been hidden for so long. Now they're coming to the forefront. What you'll notice is everything is coming to light. So everything that once was hidden in darkness is going to be revealed by the light. The light is this energy of compassion and love. So don't be shocked when these things are coming to the surface. You are glad that they're coming to the surface because once they come to the surface, you can know what you'd like to create in its place. And you have to find compassion and love within yourself for that person. The actions are the things that have consequences. So I hope this is helpful because we need to love people, trust God, and we need to hold people accountable for their, and they need to be responsible for their actions. So that is the spiritual truth. That's what's coming to the forefront. I want you to be prepared and I want your heart 
to be open and receiving, not only with yourself for the healing, but also for those that are going through the process. Love you.